Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to reduce your ping and input delay and maybe even boost your FPS. And if you have been living under a rock, ping pretty much means the time it takes for a small data set to be transmitted from your device to a server on the internet and back to your device again. The ping time is measured in milliseconds. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to reduce your input delay and ping and just make your game feel a lot smoother. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It's free and easy and causes no harm and I'll greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to Team TRG. Let's get started. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna head to the bottom corner into the search bar and type in game mode. We're going to click on the game mode settings and what it's first going to say is this is going to be off. So you're just going to click on it and it's going to turn on. Essentially what this does, it optimizes windows for Fortnite, Valorant, just the games you play. And yeah. All right. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to type in in the search bar again, keyboard. Now what you want to click here is just this setting right here. Not this, but this one in the control panel and what you're going to do you're going to bring it all the way up to fast and here all the way up to short just leave this alone don't touch this setting or this setting just bring these two all the way up default it might be in the middle or somewhere around there but just bring it all the way up for both of these click apply then click ok Sorry guys, I forgot to tell you what the setting does. The setting pretty much is reduces the time it takes for an action to go towards the game you're playing. Pretty much reduce input delay. Okay guys, before we actually get started, if you guys are unsure about the tweaks and methods that I'm gonna do in this video, there's something we can do before we actually start to prevent from anything happening to your PC. Just in case something happens, we can system restore it back to where it was. What you're gonna first have to do is go to the search bar, type in system restore. I spelled that wrong. Anyways. <laughs> then we're gonna create a restore point. Then we're gonna click on the driver where your Windows is installed on. Then we're gonna click create a restore point right now for the drivers that have system protection now we'll click this name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it backup i'm gonna put the date as well then we'll create it now we just wait for this to finish and we're good to go to start all the tweaks and methods to lower your ping and input delay and maybe even boost your fps all right guys the third tweak we're gonna do we're gonna head to the search bar we're gonna type in device manager this is the setting you want to click on we're gonna click on this setting refer to load then we're gonna click on network adapters this one right here and then we're gonna click on the adapter or ethernet connection that you are using for me it's gonna be the real take a a eight twelve b wireless adapter and click on this we're going to right click this click on properties then we're going to go to power management and the default settings is going to say allow computer to turn off this device to save power what we're going to do we're going to uncheck this and i think this might be on too so just uncheck all the stuff here click ok then exit out all right guys our fourth tweak we're going to head um, head to our keyboard we're going to click on the windows and r button on our keyboard and then we're going to type in dp edit dp edit dot msc then we're going to click ok and then your local group policy should pop up my computer slow there we go so this is going to pop up don't get confused i'm going to teach i'm going to show you how to do it step by step we're going to click on administrative template then we're going to click on network and then we're going to scroll all the way down to quas or qos packet scheduler 
click on that double click on that then click limit reservable bandwidth and then it's gonna load up to another screen what you're gonna do here it's gonna be here already like it's gonna be on not configured that's the default setting what you want to do you're going to click on enable now this number might be 80 but what we want it to be at is zero we do not want to eliminate our network speed so put it to zero all right and if you want to know what this tweak does just look um to the side what it, it tells you pretty much what it does and all that so just put this to zero click apply click ok and on to the next tweak all right guys so our fifth tweak what we're gonna do we're gonna head to windows settings and then what we're gonna do next is head to update and security it's gonna be right here then we're gonna head to delivery optimization and by the way you should make sure that your pc is up to date Bruh. anyways so we're gonna head to delivery optimization then what we're gonna do here we're gonna turn this off this is gonna say on but what we want what we want is to turn this off and then we're going to head to advanced options which should be right here head all the way down here it's going to be here on absolute bandwidth we're going to click on percentage limit how much bandwidth for both of these bring, it might be all the way here but bring it all the way down to five percent for both of them and then for upload settings the same thing it's going to be all the way here but we want it all the way down to bring it all the way down upload i don't think really messes with your ping but just in case right yeah on to our sixth tweet all right guys so next what we're gonna do we're gonna install timer resolution i'll have a link down in the description you're gonna click on the link in the description and we're gonna scroll all the way down to this link do not click on this link all right what okay do not click on this link the buy and download we're gonna click download timer resolution dot zip we're gonna click on this There you go. So for me, I had to click it again, but it looks like it was working before. So anyways, you'll have it downloaded. What you're gonna do, we're gonna click on the zip file. Gonna open it. Run the file and you have it now installed. So what with this tweak, we'll lower input delay on our keyboard and just make your game feel faster and more responsive. So what you're going to do, you're going to open timer resolution. Then we're going to click maximum. And as you can see, it's split the time between what it was before and half. So before you get in a game of Fortnite, just run this um, application in the background. Make sure you click maximum and yeah, you should be good to go. All right, guys. So. Second to last tweak we're gonna do for this video. We're gonna head to your game. We're gonna head to the settings. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down to advanced graphics. Now in in rendering mode, you wanna at least try three of these um, performance modes to see which one provides you more FPS and just makes the game feel much, much neat. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Just test um, all three of these, see which one's better for you. And let's move on to our last tweak. All right, guys, for the last and final tweak of the video, this tweak is pretty much processor score scheduling or quantum. Quantum is really just your, the amount of CPU time your system assigns to a specific program. In our case would be like Fortnite and Valorant or any other games you play like Rainbow. And long quantum pretty much equals more smoother and more FPS, while short quantum is pretty much low latency. In other words, low input delay. What did he say? So to apply this tweak, we're gonna head to the search bar in the bottom corner, type in reg, and we're gonna click on it. Click yes. Okay, and then the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna drop down from computer, and we're going to drop down from H key, H key local machine, then system. Then we're going to go to con current control set, then control. Then all these files will pop up. But what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the P section to priority control. We're going to click on it once. 
click on 132 priority separation two times then bam you're going to pop up here the default number might be two or zero but if you want the lowest input delay put in 28. if you want the smoothest um feel in the game put 16. but if you want the balance of them both put 25. you but you guys can try um all of them out to see which one is better for you Cur uh, um, currently i use 16 just because i bro 16 just because like i i hit more shots with it and all that so yeah it's really up to you and yeah okay guys i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope the tweaks and methods helped you guys out in game before i actually end the video um i want to thank you guys for supporting me all the way we finally hit 65 subscribers which I'm really thankful for and the grind is just starting and yeah and for the also for the last and final tweak that's really optional very uh, up to you because like i haven't tested and i don't know if it might affect the smoothness and responsiveness of windows so that's up to you guys to turn on to apply it and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video peace out I got a bitch in the south, sucker on sloppy when I'm in her mouth. She get a hiccup so scarf in